Hey there folks, got another Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi battle for you. Now I've been uploading these battles in order that I had them, and you know, as you may or may not notice, uh, I am in the midst of a humongous losing streak. I've, wa I've lost four in a row, and I'm really feeling like the hacks gods have turned on me. I'm like, I created you, Challenge Cup, you can't be nice to me? Anyway, this is a battle against uh, Battle Power 777, who I found through the AAX Zat, um, which I highly urge all of you to go to when you want battles and you don't feel like using the smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Anyway, I leave it off with Corsola, gonna scare out his uh, Rufflet as he switches out into Girder, and I hit it, and that is going to be a solid two-hit KO, but I'm worried that this guy is faster and could kill me in one hit, uh, and indeed he does carry the fighting type move, I'm not sure whether he was faster or, or whether I could have just killed it in one hit. So I switch out into Gengar, uh, lock his hammer on, take it out with a Venoshock, this Gengar is actually running a quite a nice set. Anyway, Rufflet is out. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to be faster, but I just don't know what this Rufflet's running, and I don't want to lose my Gengar so quickly. So I send out Torchic, which has a useless move set as Death Fodder. It actually takes one of those Brave Birds, but now it's going to die to a Rock Tomb. Interesting that this Torchic has Rock Tomb. Um, you know, Brave Bird on this Rufflet is actually going to be quite nice for it. I'm going to send out Corsola, thinking that I can probably do okay against it. Um, don't have Regenerator because uh, this version doesn't have Dream World abilities. Um, anyway, Surf does a decent chunk. Out's gonna come Swallet. Uh, he decides he wants to save his Rufflet for later. Um, I go ahead, hit his Swallet with Surf. Does about a third. Gonna want to switch out Corsula because it's just doing so well. I send out Gengar, predicting a uh, poison type move. Instead, he goes for Bullet Seed, um, and that's fine. I resist it, and that's actually gonna be great for me. Um, so yeah. Uh, and now he's, I was pretty he was probably going to switch out, and indeed he goes out into his Zig Zagoon. Uh, as I go for the Fire Punch, not wanting to overpredict. Uh, fire Punch isn't really going to do very much. I go for the Venoshock, it being the attack that's going to do the most damage. Just a lot. His little Zig Zagoon has the Thunder Wave. Crap! That is not good for me. Oh, not only that, it's got Swagger. That's right. Uh, and it's about to kick me to a curve. Never mind. Um... Yeah, are you enjoying the Kesha? I hope you are. Anyway, so Kesha gets fully paralyzed. I'm gonna want to switch out because, I, I mean, even paralyzed Gengar is still pretty useful. Zigzagoon carries the Ice Beam. This is a quote-unquote special Zigzagoon. And he's gonna go for the Swagger again, just swaggering all up and down my team. Uh, that is not, not good for me. Um, so yeah, I get hit in the confusion, and I'm like, come on, why doesn't the Zigzagoon just die? Uh, Out's gonna come now, Sableye, uh, as I switch out Corsola, not wanting to, I was actually predicting him to paralyze me. I switch out into Maractus. Uh, have no experience with this Pokemon whatsoever. I mean, I, I think it's cool looking, but as far as I know, it has awful stats. I go for the Accupressure. Um, I actually didn't know it, I didn't notice at the time I looked away from my screen, uh, and I didn't see that I'd ri risen, ri blah, boosted my special defense. That's kind of nice. Anyway, yeah, I go for Absorb, which is, I believe, the move on this set that does the most damage. He goes for Flash, and I'm like, okay, well, this isn't great, but I don't want to switch out this Maractus. Um, and so I go for another uh, Accupressure, it boosts my speed, I'm like, I was actually going for an evasion, uh, hoping for an evasion boost, or maybe a special attack boost, but not really getting those. Um, he goes for the Mega Punch, and those are hitting quite hard, and my Absorbs are really not doing much damage at all. Um, so yeah, he goes for the Mega Punch, hits me again, uh, I'm down to 41, I go for the Grass Muff, don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Sableye is actually heavier than I thought it was. Um, go for another Grass Knot. Uh, I guess I would thought that Sableye was super light, but I guess all those gems make it heavy. Um, so I'll go for another Absorb just to finish it off, and thanks to some lucky hacks with his Mega Punches missing. Uh, yeah, you'd think he was the one who had his accuracy drop. Um, I actually managed to take him out, that's great. Swallowed is back out. I go for the Grass Knot. Um, not doing very much. He has Dynamic Punch, he goes for it, and it misses. I go for another Grass Knot, and my Maractus is haxing him to death, quite literally. Uh, this is just really crazy. Go for another Grass Knot. His Swallow survives on barely any HP. He goes with a Bullet Punch. Um, not gonna really do very much to me at all, but at least it's more accurate than, that, than, than Dynamic Punch. And here he goes for the Snatch, expecting maybe I'll go for the Acupressure. I don't. I go for the Grass Knot. It misses, actually. Now I go for another Grass Knot. Just take out his Swallow. 
and that is good. Uh, that is good game. Swallow it. I didn't go for the absorb because I think those things often carry that uh, liquid ooze ability, and I didn't want to lose health. Um, anyway, he's gonna take out my miraculous with slash. I was hoping he would go for the brave bird, but at that range of health, why would he? Uh, I'm gonna send Corsola back out. Rufflet's gonna go for the rock tomb. Ain't gonna do jack. I go for the surf. And I'm just hoping that's going to KO. He actually survives with a decent amount of HP. Goes for the Brave Bird, and I'm like, eh, I resist it. Uh, he gets a crit, and that is going to KO my Corsola. And because my Corsola wasn't at that high health, his Rufflet's still alive. So now I have to send out my Paralyzed Gengar uh, and hope that I can take this Brave Bird. Um, and indeed I do with 28 HP. His Rufflet is now down. Um, Gengar uses Payback, but there's no target. Um, and now out is going to come his Zigzagoon again. He goes for the Ice Beam just to KO my Gengar. Um, I'm a little bit glad I didn't go for the Swagger, I guess. Um, now I am down to my last Pokemon, which is Mime Chow. Uh, and I go for the Facade. It is going to take out a Zigzagoon. And I'm like thinking maybe I can win this because... Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I have two Pokemon left. Anyway, this is his last Pokemon, Typhlosion. I go, and this is not good for me because my last Pokemon is Letheon. So if I don't KO um, with Mind Shao, this is good game for him. I mean, he, this is good game for me. He's gonna beat me. So I, I don't know why I did this. I went for the bulk up. That was so stupid on the recharge turn. I really should have just gone for two attacking moves. Here I risk it all, go for the return, hoping that I'm fairly happy. And indeed I am fairly happy. But had I just gone for the two returns, he would be a dead Typhlosion, and I just feel so stupid. Mind Shao is now dead, and now Letheon has exactly one turn in which to kill this guy, otherwise I have lost the game. I go for strength, it KOs Typhlosion, and I have won with one Pokemon remaining. So that is good game, Battle Power. I have broken my losing streak, uh, and I'm just so, so relieved. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.